Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Planning with Donna. Today I have a April ver big vertical spread for you guys and this is for the week of April the 10th because I already pre-planned for the first week of April. So we're doing this April the 10th through the 16th. As you know, you can do any spread for any week. It doesn't really matter. All right, I'm using Washi from Happy Planner. I'm pretty sure that's Happy Planner, and that's Happy Planner too. I'm not sure, but these are the ones I'm using. And I am featuring some stickers that I printed myself, as well as Yellow Blooms uh, from Functionally Chic, Live Love Posh, and um, on a Bean on a Mission her sticker book florals volume one book so these are the florals that i will be featuring in today's video so let's go ahead and get started i want to start over here and let's just go ahead and get down some uh, of the designs i'm going to i'm doing these sunflowers because i'm literally in love with them they are so gorgeous love them all right and pull that up i've been trying to do some pre-filming just to get ahead of the crowd so to speak or ahead of the game whatever you want to call it working on my schedule for planning not really sure what i want to do with my schedule right now but i think i'm going to take Fridays off the docket just because most of my Friday stuff I have to film after I get off work and I don't know how you feel when you get off work on Friday but being that I'm not you know 25 anymore I really don't feel like doing anything when I get off work on Friday literally and I was doing my junk journaling and I'm still going to do my junk journaling I have not changed that but I think I am going to try and maybe do it on a different day. And I think I'm going to change it to every other week because, uh, one, they're not the most popular videos. And two, um, they take a really, really long time to film. I mean, we're talking like an hour. Most of my videos are well over an hour and they take a long time to edit too so because most of them are about an hour and a half or more and i'm probably editing down 30 to 45 minutes of that so just saying they're they're a lot of work and summer's coming up and i'm going to have a lot more responsibilities with my grandbabies and things like that that are coming up on the horizon and and that's okay because people's schedules change in the summer um, or most people's do so I think I'm gonna put this about right here and I love these sunflowers they remind me of my grandbaby and she that is her favorite flower so I'm not waiting out because I think you see that big globby white line underneath that, and I think that's uglier than just the um, the floral itself going over top of the black line. I don't think you pay as much attention to it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I love how this turned out. Let's see, let's put this big floral down first because it is sort of huge. I did get me some new planner guides because I had pretty much destroyed my other ones. They were a hot, hot mess. Yep, where I had cut on them and did different things and I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to just order a new set of the big size because it just really does help me. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, a lot whenever I am planning 
to use these guides. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the washi. I love this idea so much. And I think it turned out really well. Ooh, this, these planner sheets just make me a little bit crazy. <laughs> we won't go there. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. Luckily, that didn't destroy too badly. And we're gonna run it across bottom as well and hopefully I get it on here right this time so I don't have to tear my planner page see how that curled I put that down too tight and I'm not pulling it back up so that's what happens to washi when you put it down and you pull it too tight just so you know okay I can get this loose. Here we go. And this one is going to go, I'm going to take my yellow and put it down first. Let me cut this straight. Ooh, those scissors are ice cold. It's cold in here this morning. It was like 70 some degrees yesterday which was great. Um, not complaining. And of course, I killed a wasp. We won't go there. I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> I was very upset. Let's just put it that way. Very upset about it. But, you know, my dad's supposed to come over today and try to figure out where they're coming in at. I'm amazed that didn't tear the paper all to pieces, but that's okay. And smooth that down like that. You don't even know it's there. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put... Little green strip right there and I sort of like those being raggedy on the end so I don't know if you guys will but I sort of like it this I need to trim and make it nice and straight so you'll probably be getting updates from the continuing saga of the wasp will fly Okay, that's what I'm going to call it. Today's episode of The Wasp Will Fly. <laughs> yeah, this old girl's not, not happy about it. And I'm just going to put this right here. And I know you can see that through there a little bit, but that's okay. Not a biggie. And then this big, huge box. Gotta pull it off of here very, very gently. Okay. My neighbors are making all kinds of noise. I don't know what they're doing, but. I will. Hopefully I can get this down straight enough for me. And then you just smooth it really, really hard. And there's that. I love how this turned out so much. I hope you guys do too. If you are watching and you are liking what you see, be sure to give me a big like. Hold that thought. 
Okay, guys, I am back. That was my dad at the door. <clears throat> so I had to let him in. He is doing basically research for to try to find where the wasps are coming in. So he has uh, de-wasped my house. Hopefully, um, that's the end of that. And I'm really, really hoping that Anything that he managed to um, caulk or fill in or plug up in any way, shape, or form resolves the issue with the wasp problem because, yeah, this old girl don't want to go through that again because I'm just sort of over it completely. So I'm going to put this right here. So, and I did watch my grandkids this weekend, and I did not put up a video Friday night. I popped a video in there um, on, when did I pop a video? Yesterday, and I was just absolutely, hmm, not feeling it. Right here, I think here. Not feeling it this weekend after watching the kiddos, which was not really that big of a deal, but I was just exhausted. I mean, I had videos planned. And, you know, sometimes, guys, you just have to cut your losses and say, I'm tired or whatever. Because I was. I was really tired. And oh, I hate this paper. I'm just going to be real honest about it. Look at that. It just pulls everything up. <laughs> everything in its path. Let's see. What did I do with my... I did finally get my glue runner in. Um, yep. Let's see if I can... Put that down where it needs to be without making a total disaster here. That's going to be as close as it's going to get. And I think I'm just going to tear that off. Let's see. I want y'all to see these little colossal mess ups because they do happen. And it's good for you all to see when this kind of stuff happens because... That teaches you how I fix it. And I got my little glue pen here. And I'm putting that down to where that will hold that down. And how I'm going to fix that is the same way. If I can get under there and get that to lay down. There we go. Then, if you don't ever want it to look like there was something uh, off there, you can take a pen and go down through there. If you can get the pinned right, which is not gonna happen. So, what I am gonna do is get my sticker book and do, yeah, disaster control. Yeah, there's always a way to fix it, folks. There's always a way. And I call that getting the smallest little floral that I can find. And cover it up. That's how you do that. And that right there is a little bit over. And it's probably gonna tear the page all to pieces. But maybe I can get it apart. There we go. That's better. That looks better. Okay. Emergency averted. And I might take some of these dots. Let's see. Yeah, these are some darker ones. I'm going to take some of these. And I'm going to put a couple, if I can get my tweezers here. I did finally get in my Tombow roller. I think I'm going to put one here and here. I'm trying to film when I have some decent sunlight that's not blocking everything in my room. 
because sometimes the sun comes in and if the sun comes in and puts sun lines on the paper i apologize for that in advance i'm sorry not a lot i can do about that folks not a lot i can do about that and i'm just going to put one right there that is cute i like that okay so let's go ahead and move over to this page sam likes to have new um planner guides that don't have everything in the world stuck on them and honestly i don't even know i mean i know why some of it happened but it's like they got really and that's why i wanted to get this out they got really gummy i think the, a lot of the problem was you know once you put this stuff down on these guides if you use the happy planner guides you may want to end up doing your video and not leaving this stuff lay on your planner guides forever because that was probably part of it so on this side we are going to that's going to drive me crazy but that's okay it'll lay down once it gets in the in the book i'm going to take this and put it up here i think it was about right there I absolutely love how this turned out. The colors. I love the, all the brown and the yellow and the green. I just, it came out better than I thought it would. And I just think it's, I think Abby's going to be like, oh my goodness, Mama, that is so pretty. She loves sunflowers. Loves them. Her room is this mustard color yellow and white and she absolutely loves it and then i got her the the diamond art i think it's called i got that for her for christmas and one of them is a sunset that's super bright and the other one is a um sunflower and it is stunning so she's still working on those but she wants those up on her wall as her art pieces and i'm basically just scattering this around i just watched a video on cast castastic plans um she has a new sticker book out it's boho and guys it is pretty and one thing she did in this sticker book that I am loving is she does layering. Like she has some layering. If you have not caught that video, I think I'm going to leave that before I tear it up. And this is going to be interesting to get up. I'm going to put this. Okay. This is gonna go, if I can get it off this paper. Right up here, I think. Yeah, I think it's right up here. Get it down straight, because if it ain't straight, it ain't coming back up. I think we've already seen the catastrophe here. Now, this, I put this down on paper that I could move around, just like this, so that I would not have a colossal, I think that goes right here, I hope, because if it doesn't, well, it's going there now, going there now, I'm going to take my yellow washi if I, can. I think i must have put this down on the wrong side of the paper or something yeah, it's really stuck on here i know y'all hear that tearing there we go gonna put that right there
trying to focus here, trying to get all this off of here without tearing my page up. Okay, there's that. And let's get this brown piece. And I think I'm gonna flip this one around like so. Didn't get it down very straight, did I? It's hard to do sometimes when you're filming overhead because you're trying to see what you're doing and at the same time, you're trying not to, you know, get in the way of the camera. Goodness gracious. I'm like, what did I do with this? Like these stickers are on here. I must have put this on the wrong side of the page or something. Whew. That was a close one. Mm, that's going to go right there. And last but not least, this is going to go right it's supposed to go like right there. There we go. And I'm going to put my little edges, what looks like it's coming out of the side there. There we go, that one. And then this little bitty one. Now I just cut the stickers in half and have them peeking out the sides and the bottom and the top. There's that. Yeah, I think I had that on the wrong side of the papers while I was wasn't coming up. That would be about like me. You know how that is. Now, I'm going to go back into here, and I'm going to find some more bullets. Here we go. And I'm going to put some here, there, and everywhere. And we will be finished. I'm going to put some up here. I just think this is so bright and lively and just, and it's so pretty and sunny today. And I'm like, oh, I'm so ready for spring and all that that brings. And I'm going to put one down here. I think I got another page. Yep, I got one left here. Using sort of the darker yellow. But I think that looks pretty cute. And I might try out a few of these. Let's see. August the 6th. That will be, I don't have any appointments. So I think I'm going to put, not, yeah, I think I'm going to put this right here for next week. That way I can pre-plan for next week. And let's use a remember. I think I'll put that, I think I'll put that up here. There's that. And let's do a notes. And then we'll call that. I think I'll put my notes right in here. Okay. 
inside that box. I think that's all I need. I don't think I really need anything else. And I have my great big fat book here that I have separated everything that I need separated in. And I want to do my plan with me. And these came from Growing Modestly. And her shop is temporarily closed. So Tuesday and my new filming day is going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. Yeah, um, because I can pre-plan all this stuff better. And I am going to do um, a, I'm going to put that here, um, junk journaling every other week. I'm not doing away with it because I love it so much. And I love this little teapot. Sundays are usually the day that I'm going to put that right in here that I usually have my tea and talk to Nairi on the phone so I'm going to put that there so that me and her can have a little combo hopefully if she's not busy and I don't think I need anything else other than this one I buy this stuff and I want to use it so I'm going to use it It'll be me time this evening. And then over here on Sunday, it will be time to relax. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I highly recommend this came from the Dollar Tree, this little album. And basically what I did was just separate out like all of my stuff and try to have it in some kind of order that I can actually feel like I'm using the stuff that I've made for myself or bought from others because it's important to me. I mean, you have all this stuff and then nine times out of 10, you're sitting back and you're hoarding it up and there's not really a reason to do that. So this I'm gonna put right here. I like to do my beginning week way in and my ending week way in. And I'll put that, let's just sneak that right in there. So it sort of blend into the background a little bit. And I even made these little hydrate things to remind me to hydrate each day, if I can get them off my paper. Don't know that I cut these that great. <laughs> Looky there. And instead of putting like eight or nine of them on here, what I'm gonna do is just put one like, mm -hmm -hmm. where do I wanna put it on Monday? Um, hmm. I think I'm going to put it right here and that will remind me to hydrate for the week and what I can do is just put like a little eight above it or whatever I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one these did not cut good put one right here I'll put this one down here. I'm trying not to block everything. So I got Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday. I'll do one on Tuesday. And I'll do one on Monday. Because this is something I really want 
incorporated into my routine. And I even made these little tubs like for protein powder. Like if you do protein shakes, how much protein you have that day. So little things like that that'll help me stay on task, especially now that the weather's getting nicer. Um, so I really do feel like that helps me a lot. And I think we are, I don't think I have any birthdays. Nope, don't have any birthdays. And I want to use one of these and we're done. These are from Steph's Design Space. And these are scripture quotes that I absolutely love. Put that down, and I think I'm gonna put that right here. Love it. And that is, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, 15. So I've got that down, and I don't know if I have any cute little um let's see what did I do with it I had a spring book here it is Amber plants her day has the best little sayings in her book so let me see if I can find a quote maybe to put it somewhere um let's see Ooh, I like that. The earth laughs in flowers. Sunshine is the best medicine. I think I like that. Sunshine is the best medicine. Put that right there. So we got our quotes. Got I got my quote, my scripture, and my plan all done. So now we're gonna take that off gently. And we're gonna do a little trim trim. And we are finished. And that has a little tiny edge. That one's good. And I don't think I have any edge over here. All right, guys, how is that? I think it turned out pretty sweet. I am all done with that. And that is Sunflower Mania. Let me just tell you, that is full of some sunflowers, isn't it? But I really do like how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty and full. And I just absolutely am loving how it looks. If you love how it looks, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Guys, do not forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. It means a lot. If you're watching and you haven't, what are you waiting for? I did use yellow blooms and some boxes. You have these mustard colored boxes from On A Bean Paper Company on a mission. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you on my very next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.